Peter, my friend, I noticed you got a pack of cigarettes in front of you. Yeah. I know we're not supposed to smoke in New York City here. You know, they, they took that pleasure away from us, Gillian. <laughs> now we have to go out into the freezing cold or the blazing sun and people in the street going by us going, oh, you bad smoking people, you. <laughs> to which I say, you threw us out of the bar not my problem. <laughs> but here's the deal I've got. You don't mind if I steal one of your cigarettes, No, do you? go for it. Great. Little betcha for you. You knew that was coming up, didn't yeah. you, Jillian? Of course. Peter, I'm prepared to bet you. Just for people in the street. And because I'm not really supposed to smoke in here. That I could light that cigarette. Take three, four drawers off the cigarette, have no ash on the end of the cigarette, and leave it exactly the same length as it started. That's defying physics. Mm. Well, that's what I like to do. <laughs> <laughs> Einstein is a soulmate of mine, mm -hmm. because after all, he defied physics, did he not? Do you want to take the bet? For a drink, <sighs> of course. I'll never turn down a drink. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, if I can't do it, you get a drink. Of course. He's never won a drink of me <laughs> yet. He lives in hope. One day. It's not going to happen. Here's how you do it. You like the match? Now remember, the bet is no ash on the end of the cigarette stays the same length. So, I like One. the cigarette in the middle. Two. Three. Three. I thought maybe it'd break. Still intact. Still intact. Same Still length. the same length. No, no ash on the end. And I'm just about to get banned from this bar. <laughs> so I'd better put it out. Very and impressive. That's how you can light a cigarette and not take any. Oh, Gina, drink please.